Okay, uh, hold on, let me fix this real quick. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, obviously, um, one guild wore off, and hopefully the chair I'm sitting in doesn't make too much noise to the point where it gets irritating. Uh, the normal chair I sit in is like one of those little, uh, steel folding chairs you get, uh, for like lawn parties or some shit. Um, you buy like a bunch of them at Walmart or Costco or something like that. Uh, but sometimes I switch over to this chair that I'm in right now, which is like, you know, a gamer chair. Look at the dumb shit on here, but um, it's more comfortable because obviously uh, that steel chair kind of hurts. I like alternating between the two, but anyway, that's sort of neither here nor there. But this one makes a lot of noise, so hopefully it doesn't make too much noise. Um, yeah, so I'm attacking, so for one, I'm attacking late this time, and last Guild War, um, I actually missed Guild War because of maintenance, which was really irritating. Uh, I had forgotten that we we've had so many. Uh, Updates hit the game where it's like there was no maintenance in between that like my brain totally forgot that I had to wait till maintenance uh, So last time we got kind of um, We kind of biffed on that um, But yeah, so you know today uh, I didn't get to show off what was happening last time, but last time we were actually in uh, 20th position, which is pretty interesting um, From what it sounds like we kind of lost mightily there So whether I contributed or not wasn't wasn't too big a deal it didn't come down to like whether I won or not um, so hopefully we can uh, climb back up there. I can you know do something uh, against these guys. So we're 177 this time. Uh, so we'll take a look at my defense here. Uh, so last week we didn't get to see right because like I said I uh, I scrubbed out there like an idiot. Uh, I think I did pretty well right. So I want to say it's these two. Let's see three days four days. Maybe it's these maybe it's these two right here. Yeah, it's these four maybe. So this this first team, I've changed this first team here, did pretty well. Uh, but let's take a look at what's going on here. So this team has been here for this one. So I, I won the first two. Uh, the first team won. Second team lost. Uh, and I lost both times here. Uh, I want to do something down here with Spectre Tenebria. Uh, I've been told um, like Tywin, Ruel, and Spectre Tenebria make a t pretty decent combo. Uh, but I'm really thinking maybe like... Um, uh, Lilius, Spectre Tenebria, and uh, and um, what's her name here would be kind of interesting to do, and Ruel here. Um, so we'll try that next Guild War, see how that goes. Um, but yeah, for now this is what we've got. Uh, yeah, I mean, as you can see here, we're not doing too bad. Um, pretty decent, pretty decently strong guild. Uh, so obviously it says here we can attack whatever. So let's kind of go look at look and see what uh, we have to hit here. Uh, so these two towers are down obviously because the stronghold is open um, So in this guild war in this guild unlike the previous guild I was in um, These guys are a lot higher level than me um, Yeah, like in this guild I'm sort of a, a more of a middling guy mid Carter the last guild, I was one of the. I was probably one of the top three in the guild. I don't think it's too, too much of a stre stretch to say. So I was more okay with kind of just hitting whatever. But I feel like, seeing as I'm not one of the better ones in this guild, I should just kind of focus on hitting smaller towers. Um. That being said, uh, I look looks like this guy attacked me. He got both successes, which is kind of interesting. Um. And then our our buddy here attacked him and missed one and hit one. Um, but yeah, so like I'm saying, uh, I'm not exactly one of the better people here. So maybe hitting towers from going forward, um, I'm probably for one. I mean, I don't know how well they'll designate. You know, who did who did, who's gonna hit what? But I don't think I'll be one of the ones designated to hit uh, more important targets. Um, I might hit them, you know, some of the guild wars we've seen with this guild already. Hopefully that sounds, the sound is coming through. Uh, some of the guild wars I've done already, you, you've seen me already hit some towers. Uh, but as we get higher and higher, um, I might have to leave that to like more uh, higher members in our guild, like in this situation. Um, this one I just feel like dodging this tower because I don't really feel like fighting that team up there. Um, do I have anything to fight against it? 
kind of, but not really. Uh, I could just Oxlots boost someone up and then kill, uh, probably Oxlots, uh, Lilibet, kill, uh, what's his name here, Avil, and then try to do something with, um, this guy. But I think, uh, we saw one of my, one of my, uh, fights last time. My Ruel is now at, like, 21,000 HP, and she still basically took the same amount of damage as she did before when she was at 18,000, so I don't, you know, who knows. Uh, I kind of like this one. I want to bring um, SSB here, and just this one looks easy down here. So let's just knock over this tower. Again, like I said, do something. Let's do something a little more secure. Let's not uh, overstep our boundaries, especially like I said, I'm I'm kind of a, a lower mid carter here in this guild. Um, let's see. Let's put you here. Oh, I shouldn't have taken him off, huh? Uh, where are you? You here? Uh, I want to bring. I actually want to bring Charles here, but Charles isn't going to do very good because um, he can't counter when she hits. Um, I feel like I should just bring Crow. Uh, I'm actually I'm gonna have a video on ML Crow for those of you who are who might be curious, um, which probably isn't many of you. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have a video on him. I really want to talk about him and what's going on with him because uh, I think he's gonna be really strong. Uh, I'm actually bring bring you down here, you, you, and you. Uh, so it's perfect. Yep. So this is I'm taking that down there up here. I guess I'll just bring Crow and be done with it. I really kind of want more damage though. Um, let's bring the issue is I need to bring someone to, to SSB onto that isn't going to die I guess the obvious choice is going to be Alencia <laughs> but I really want to bring uh I really want to bring um, Charles into this. I, I might just do it anyway, uh, specifically because, or I could just bring you. See what kind of damage I get off this Arby. Um, I'm kind of concerned about her doing a lot of damage, but well. Ugh. Yeah, I think I'm just going to uh, just let's just be safe. Let's not, uh, there's no reason to really mess around here. Uh, the main thing I'm, I'm concerned about here in this case is that, like, the crit resist buff from her is going to make it hard for Arby to do a lot of damage. Like, even against this team, which seems pretty squishy. Uh, so let's just go in safe. Uh, there's no real reason to, like, be too risky about this. Uh, and down here, like I said, this looks, this is pretty easy. So let's just get in there. Okay. Uh, so she went first. Uh, she's she's hitting like 230 speed, I think. Um, overall, I it's hard to like it's always hard to tell whether they're um, running um, speed set or counter set. I think you could feasibly get like 240, 250 speed off of the uh, or maybe 230 with a counter set on her. Um, but I think more than likely they've just got a uh, a speed set. Uh, this DN probably has a lot more resistance. Yeah. Um, I just realized I need to go make sure I can. T I'm careful when I use if I when and if I use DN and anything because she's missing her helmet or her ring, one or the other. I don't remember too well. I think I took one of them off. Uh, fortunately, we got the um, debuffs on all of them. Uh, so this isn't that big a deal. Uh, let's do that. Actually pretty loud in my ear right now. Uh, this should kill somebody. Yeah, I should kill her. Okay, very good. Uh, she'll clean... Yeah, she only cleansed one. Uh, let's kill you because the healer is going to be irritating. Uh, funnily enough, thanks to Rylet, it's like the team. Because originally, one of the problems with the um, 
with the uh, RBCC or RBMLCC uh, Charles team is that you can just bring like Oxlots, um, what's her name? Oxlots, little bit, take out the, the CC or take out the, the RB, then use like a fast lit uh, fast uh, Shermia or something like that, or even a Kron to just one shot the Charles, and then it's just, um, you know, three on one against like a, Lin uh, a Lilius. Sometimes, you know, it's Lilius or sometimes it's MLCC. Uh, which is, you know, the reason that goes down that way. But, um, yeah. So let's get you... Let's hit you. There's no real reason, but let's just do it anyway. Um, out of anybody, she's probably... She should have the highest resistance, so I probably should have gone for some someone like her. But uh, I don't think we're too bad there. Um, the One of the main problems I think we're going to have here is maybe not enough damage. Um, because... This, um, the Momo can cause troubles when you can't deal with her, with her healing output. Especially with, uh, when you've got someone like, um, what's her name? When you've got someone like s uh, because she, she debuffs on all her hits, right? I mean, you're probably not going to get a lot of them onto, uh, not a lot of them are going to get stuck on this, but there's another example right there is like... She gets more healing when people are debuffed, which is something you want to be careful of. Um, there you go. Uh, let's see this. So my uh, S10A has uh, max molas on her S1 and her S2 now. Uh, so that's pretty nice, and thanks for that dual attack. Um, She's gonna do that, okay. Yeah, so that's this is kind of what's going on here is just that we might not have enough damage, uh, which is actually starting to kind of annoy me that this turned out this way. Oop. Okay, so that's a that's a good chance to move in here. Um, that's the only. That's really your your biggest opportunity to like get in and start doing real damage is when um, the um, the Motmo misses the uh, the heal right because the heal doesn't always um, come through because it's a fifty percent chance that like she'll heal. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of like a good like a go button. Of course, we can't really go right now because we're waiting for. Um, we're waiting for uh, S10 to get stacks or, or to get these uh, these souls for soul burning. Of course, she's going to heal Ravi, which is all right. Oh, she healed herself. Very interesting. So Ravi's still stunned. Uh, so this is going actually pretty well, consider all things considered. Uh, so she only dropped one debuff, which is good. Let's sleep you if we can. Okay, of course not. Um, there we go. So my S10A is on um, what's that artifact? Uh, Caladra. Um, I talked about it. Uh, I think in one of the videos, uh, like there doesn't feel like there's any like any real best in slot. Thing for S10A, right? Like, there's a lot of artifacts that are really good on her, and I don't think I don't think anybody will like pretend like there aren't. But um, it just feels like there's missing, like you're missing one that's like super stand out. That's like this will will really uh, push her over the edge um, for for like intense power. So as you can see here, this is kind of what happens: is if you don't have enough damage to deal with Momo's healing, um, you do this. But I think the the long game we kind of have it just because of the. So hopefully I hit Ravi because yep yeah, the Caliadra. I just want to make sure I get the Caliadra damage, and I I messed that up. I really shouldn't have gone for her there. Um, but yeah, so I think we have the long game just because we can like stack up a bunch of souls. Um, but yeah, let's. You kind of want to focus hitting people who don't have shields. Uh, who is she gonna heal? I think she's gonna heal herself this time. Yeah, okay. Um, Course. Yeah. 
So you want to focus on hitting people without shields, because then you know you're not your 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 damage isn't wasted. Is the is the point there? Well, let's get rid of that. Um, I, I just started. I just realized I'm kind of an idiot. Uh, I really need to stop stunning. Um, Ravi because she's not hitting. Yeah, so that's fine. I need to make sure I hit somebody with that S3 that isn't going to like not resist it because. I'm losing some CR because Ravi's not hitting my um, my General Purgus, uh, so that's something you want to keep in mind. That's fine. Uh, let's hit you again with the S1. Uh, let's, this isn't this is fine. Okay. So yeah, basically this is a good this is a good scenario because now everybody's hitting um, G Purg. Um, let's do this. Uh, I feel like I'm just going to pause this and come back when I have full stat, uh, full souls, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Uh, just so you're not like bored here watching me farm uh, souls over and over again. Um, I usually just like hesitate to do that because it's like, oh, there might be a reason. There might be like, oh, here's an opportunity, I can just go in real quick. But yeah, I think I'm just going to pause this and come back when we have uh, full souls. So uh, yeah, we'll be back. Uh, okay, so as you can see here, this is a pretty good situation. So I think I'm just going to try to <laughs> do this here. If uh, if I don't have enough to burn everybody down, uh, I might just have to like, <laughs> I might just have to uh, draw. Uh, you still got a victory on the draw. Um, yeah, this looks like it might take a while. If I, if I don't just like take the uh, L here. Okay, okay, come on, please boost me up. Okay. Uh, so let's just get this going here. We'll pop you. There's one. Uh, okay, that's kind of irritating. I forgot that that would happen. Uh, you really need the, t the, the, the dual attacks here, but I um, don't really have a choice. I kind of just have to do this. Um, we'll burn this one, uh, and then we'll just hit her with the last one here. Um, hopefully this will just kill her. Okay, so she died. Very good. Um, problematically though, I think we still might end up having to lose here, or draw here, because of the lack of damage. Um, okay, so this is looking pretty good, actually. Uh, we got one death, so we got one stack, which is excellent. Um, but the, the thing I'm worried about now is that um, without the Ravi giving us that, ever, that little extra CR boost, uh, it's looking like... Um, oh, there we go. Nice, very nice. Okay, so we're getting off some pretty lucky dual attacks here, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, so some serious damage coming through. Let's hit you. Okay. Uh, she's gonna hit somebody with the S3, which I think is gonna be her. Okay. Uh, and my phone is going off again for some reason. Uh, Shut up. Okay. Sorry about that. Um. Just do this, I guess. There's really no reason to not to. Oh, there is actually a reason. <laughs> there was actually a reason not to. Uh, oops. No. Oh, okay. Cool. That was that's what I was worried about. Was uh, maybe um, I accidentally uh, made G per because she's gonna hit him no matter what, right? But her, she could switch between back and the back and forth between these two. Like the only thing keeping him hitting him was uh, keeping her hitting him. Was the fact that like he had uh, lower HP, but it looks like it's all fine. Oh, very cool, very cool. Um, okay, hopefully. So <laughs> it's looking like I might have a chance here, but I might have to like soul burn a bunch again 
<laughs> which I guess I'll have to like pause the video again and come back. Um, yeah, this looks kind of dumb. Uh, Okay. Yeah, I might have to like wait a bit to get a bunch of soul burns. Um. You want to try me? Well, that um, MLCC. That MLCC is looking a little squishier than she was earlier. Um, fortun unfortunately, this uh, Momo is getting on my nerves. Um, I think maybe it was a mistake to bring um, my Montmorency. Maybe I should have just gone with like a second DPS. Um, but that's all right. I don't think uh, it's too big a deal. Uh, fortunately, we boosted forward for no real reason here. That was a wasted uh, attack. Which I guess you know it's like MLCC's getting her, uh, getting in, getting her purpose, you know, in there. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna like pause this again and, and farm, up, farm up some souls, and they should be dead. Um, yeah, so I'll be right back again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is Bert. This is perfect conditions. Um, I'm about to do uh, G Perks S3 to give 10A the attack buff. The, the very previous turn, uh, S10A already used her S3, which means I have basically four turns of S1 that I can do uh, with the cleave. Again, you can, you can keep doing it, obviously, but um, you lose the cleave when the uh, when the uh, the S3 cool cooldown comes back up again. So uh, two turns of attack buff would be good here. Oh, here's hoping we can <laughs> we can kill them. Uh, we didn't get crits, so that's already kind of a bad sign. Um, come on, crits, please. And that's the second time we didn't get crits. Uh, so it's looking like maybe we might just have to draw this one because, gosh damn, that was ridiculous. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> yeah, it's looking like this is not it's not okay here. Um, the question is, well, I guess I should, well, my S2, my S1 has, um, the most Mola in it. The S3 might just be able to, like, do enough damage to somebody here. Uh, unfortunately, we missed, like, so many crits there, that wasn't even funny. Um, ugh. That's disappointing, so she's gonna heal her now. Um, oh, she has the Magaraha's Tome, Magahara's Tome, which is why she's being, she's got so much CR all the time. That was kind of interesting, I didn't realize that earlier. Ugh, I won't have to go through that again. Um, might just have to draw. I can't believe I missed so many crits in a row, dude. Shouldn't even be like mathematically possible to miss that many crits, but of course I figured out a way, I guess. Um, kind of stubborn, so I feel like maybe I should do it again. Um, as bad as an idea, as bad of an idea that is, as that is. Um, gosh damn, this is so ridiculous. I'm actually pretty upset now, uh, thanks to that. Which, uh, it's always irritating to be in a bad mood because Guild War or something happened. Ugh. Okay, she's gonna S3 again. Um, she keeps s 3 Oh, she didn't S3 uh, MLCC, which is good for me. Right? Uh, as long as I get to do something here. Okay. 
Um, let's just hit you with this. Uh, this is kind of bad, actually, because... Um, yeah, because... For once, she had the barrier, which is not something I should have done. Period. But also, if I had stunned her, uh, I wouldn't have got the CR boost from her attacking any of us. So that's kind of what that is about. Yeah. Uh, it's not a lot, mind you, but uh, it is something. So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like pause this and come back during the next fight. I'll, I mean, this is again obviously this is obviously winnable. It's just uh, I'm getting screwed over in RNG. Um, so yeah, I'll just kind of show you I win I win um, in the next fight if like the thing doesn't kick me for taking too long on on a single battle. I don't know if uh, I know the draw is up there, but I don't know if it'll like eventually just kick me out for taking too many turns. But yeah, I'll just go on to the next one. You guys will see me in the next battle. Uh, so here we are. Uh, funnily enough, um, I actually just wasted a bunch of my time uh, last that, during that fight uh, because the game eventually just kicked me for stalemate anyway. Uh, so I just should have just clicked the draw button. Uh, fortunately enough though, we took the tower, uh, we got the extra havoc and all that stuff, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that answers that question. I wasn't sure if uh, eventually the game would just kick you for uh, taking too long, but um, yeah, so now I know. Uh, so here's this team. I took this team into here. Um, though I've I've learned this lesson a few times. I've been taught this lesson a few times. Maybe I haven't. You know, yeah. The phrasing is I've been taught this lesson a few times. Though maybe I haven't learned it uh, well enough. Um, taking this team into this, the the main problem with this team is Basar. Uh, he's not really tanky enough to take all three of these people hitting him all the time. Um, but yeah, like we'll just see how this turns out. Um, Funnily enough, I think that uh, that RB is like pushing 200 speed, a little over, just like 210 maybe, um, which is fine. Uh, so let's do. It's actually this funny. This this right here should not be this way. He should uh, really have like uh, immunity, because um, then you could just bring um, Dizzy into this and be be solid. Um, Especially now this, I can do this, right? I can hit him with the unbuffable and the unhealable, and he can't counter me for heals, so he can't, like, get heals back from this. Uh, which isn't necessarily the, the most dangerous thing he can do, but uh, it's still something you don't want uh, happening. Uh, okay, so right now the biggest problem I have is SSB is taking the most damage, which is fine. Um, for some reason... Yeah, so that didn't do all that whole lot of damage. Uh, so let's hit you, I guess, because your defense broken. Okay, and I still got the counter. Okay, so we're gonna get the S3. He's still gonna get the attack buff, which is kind of important to realize, but I think uh, he might just die from the uh, counter. Um, okay, so let's see what kind of damage we're looking at here. We didn't get the, the greater attack, Alexa's. Um, so that's too bad. Um, I am just going to get rid of this RB. I think this team is going to be really fun to play against as soon as ML Crowl comes out. Like, I don't want to talk too much about ML Crowl um, outside of the video I want to make on him, but uh, suffice it to say, I I'm probably going to drop a pity on him. Um, I mean, if I need to go pity, I'll go pity. Uh, I really do want him, um, but hope you know. Hopefully, with any luck, I don't have to pity him is the, the point I want to make with that. Uh, but funnily enough, um, the point I wanted to make was re with regards to um, him using him against this team, right? Because, like, for one, Crow turn one, I want him to be at least 220 speed to, you know, two, at least 220, right? You probably, I, I want him ideally to be 250 speed. 250 speed, 25k HP, and then you just S3, turn one, um, Turn uh, the, the you know at some point. Let's see, let's stun somebody here. Let's see how much resistance. Well, they all have like insane resistance. Um, turn three, stun somebody. Or turn three, uh, S S three, turn one, and then wow, I can't believe that. That's weird. Uh, but then go into the uh, turn two. Um, and then Arbiter goes at one point, uh, giving everybody the shield. Which is, uh, well, I mean, it's just fantastic by my, by, by me. Uh, we'll do, we'll do this just to boost her up. 
Uh, but yeah, so, you know, who to pair who to pair with him? Probably just run a bunch of uh, tanky bruisers, like, run him, Alencia, and, like, you know, some third person and, and be pretty well off, I think. Um, so for some reason, this, this lady over here is, uh, took a lot of damage for that for some reason. So we really want to kill this, uh, wow, she's almost dead. Very interesting. She has no resistance whatsoever. Um, I can't say I agree with that personally. I really do think you should have some resistance. Uh, let's do this. Oh, unfortunately we didn't get to snipe the, uh... We didn't get to snipe the, um... s back there, but that's fine. Unfortunately we got this, so we can heal everybody, we can heal them both up. Fortunately that s is hitting us all with debuffs constantly, so we can, um... Farmer for heals. Um, the problem is, I think when we were about to kill this Elena, oh, we were about to kill her, I guess not anymore. Um, we were about to kill that Elena, so the thing that I was concerned about is not a big deal anymore. I uh, was worrying about um, S10 A stacking back there, because she looked like a really damage dealy, so we got lucky that she didn't actually hit my S10 A. Um, but, you know, she could have easily hit her and maybe just one shot her, considering, it, like I said, mine is built for speed more than, than, than damage. Um, but yeah. So it could have been, could have been rough. So what kind of damage we're getting off of this? I, I didn't pay attention the first time. Uh, on Tanky Ruel, we're getting 3k, and on her, we're getting about 4k. That's not too bad. Uh, she should have more damage soon. Uh, I just need to get an Abyss Sword for her and... Uh, a few other things uh, need to be reforged now that I have like what six seven hundred reforged materials for uh, wyvern. It's pretty good Okay, so they're both out of immunity which is good It's at you because you don't have a barrier on you I didn't get the crit uh, Let's do What's your cooldowns? Okay, you're both down. Let's just hit her. Okay, I didn't get the... She's got a really weird amount of resistance. Let's hit you with this. Come on. Nope. Let's hit you with this again. Okay, there we go. Now we're talking. Oh, of course, she has the uh, Wondrous Potion Vial. Uh, so this team is just more irritating than anything else. Um, the main threat's already gone. However, um, of course, uh, let's just wait till that um, thing is gone. I think. I mean, if we get a if we get a single crit, yeah, she should be dead. Thank you. Um, she's gonna go and she's just gonna die. So I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, so she's dead. Um, unfortunately for me, now my S10 A is gonna be doing more damage. Uh, let's see if I can just kill her right out with this. Okay, yep, she should be dead now. Uh, 5,500 5, HP. So that's pretty good. Two victory, two theor I mean, theoretically, two victories in a row. I would have won that. I feel like I would have won that last one if uh, we had more time and I didn't lose <laughs> so many crits. I can't believe that, dude. That was so dumb. Uh, this one, I actually looks pretty interesting. I really want to run. Let's get you here. Yeah, I actually want to fight against a deep buffer team like this because I want to test out my champion Zerato. Uh, where are you, boy? Here you go. Champion Zerato. Uh, we should run some tanks. So he he probably could be good enough. Uh, I think that's good there. Um, up here, down here. Oof, this looks like a pretty interesting team. Um. What do you think about this? Should I just do something like that? Uh, like that with uh, CR booster and this. Just to make sure we're, we stay alive and then just keep bringing him back until, you know, he kills everybody. Um, I kind of like it. Uh, it looks kind of stupid. I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's... Sh it shouldn't work. I don't think it's going to work, but uh, damn if it doesn't look fun. Um... 
Yeah, I guess let's try it out. Uh, there's not, I mean, we're not losing a whole lot. Uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, let's just give it a shot, really. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a Bassar, like a really well-built Bassar. That would be very helpful. And this, she's only level 50, so yeah, I think we should be fine. Um, but this top team... Uh, probably maybe just like a SSB would be fine up there, but I really want to try out my um, Champion Zerato. Okay, so we got this first, which means I'm going to counter. Uh, which means I'm going to counter and I'm going to get the, the defense break. Or not that, well, I mean, you know, probably going to get the defense break, but... Uh... Oh, okay, so I got it on the one person I really shouldn't have got it on. Or I really needed to not get it on is, the, is what I should say there. Uh, so he can't get the <laughs> he can't get the the defense buff, which is funny. Uh, so let's see this. Um, so that didn't do very much, unfortunately. Uh, Zerato's gonna counter again here, which is problematic because now I'm gonna. Oh, okay, never mind. That's fine. Um, let's heal you up because you are taking some serious abuse here. Okay, so that did basically nothing. Um, we're gonna get the defense break no matter what, so let's just get this one done. Uh, so there's the defense break. Did we get attack break? Hopefully, maybe. I don't know what we're gonna clear off of him. Uh, nothing in that case. Okay, yeah, he's dead. That sucks. Uh, okay. Uh, of course he resisted. He's got zero resist, by the way. I want to make that uh, a point here. Um, yeah, zero resist. I Let's see how many resists he gets. So that's one. We got the resist. That's pretty cool. Uh, this deep friends break is always irritating because I can't counter it with Zerato. Uh, and then she gets to hit him really hard. Uh, but I get both of them off, so that's cool. Uh, so that's nice. This is, uh, this is nice. I like this. Um... <laughs> That's two resists in a row. Uh, well, not in a row, but you know, just two resists. That's that's really annoying. Um, there you go. Thank you. And we get this. And then he, she's dead. Uh, so there you go. That there goes a prime example of why it's not always good to have too many debuffers on your um, defense team because Serato can just solo how stupid they are. Um, doo -doo -doo. So she's gonna go. Okay. So hopefully, let's get. Uh, come on. Yep, okay, cool. So he gets to go now. Um, oh, this is what's interesting too about having um, having her on your defense team on Guild War. Because she doesn't, she's not hitting four targets, she doesn't get the 100% CR boost, which means she can't put the skill nullifier up. So it's something to keep in mind. Um, let's just hit her. Come on, nice, 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 nice. All right, let's do this. And we wipe him. Excellent. Let's see who she's gonna hit with this. She's probably gonna hit uh, oh, one of the light targets, which is good. That's some serious damage right there. She's not gonna kill him and she can't reset his cooldown, so that's good. It just means I'm gonna get to do it again next turn. Uh, so let's hit you. Strangely enough, my Ruel is actually faster. Ooh, is he gonna die? He did die from that. That's pretty annoying. Uh, so we're at least gonna kill um, that lady right there, and then we're gonna get this. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's just hit you. And he missed. Very good. Oh, that could be very bad. Like she gets that stun, I'm basically screwed. Let's heal him up. Uh, I'm gonna heal him up and get him the barrier just in case, um, like a stray. Yep, there you go. Just like in case a stray um, thing hit him. And this is basically it, I think. Right? Let's see what happens here. I'm 
I'm gonna have to burn this on him because I really need him to be awake for this. Uh, so he gets to do his S3 for the uh, third time in a row. I think he hasn't. I'm, I'm so happy he's not had to have. Uh, he's not have. He's he has not have had to use his S1 at all <laughs> this entire round. So there you go. Uh, that team wasn't as bad as it could have been. Um, yeah, like I said, it just uh, it could have been a lot worse uh, if I didn't kind of you know uh, mess around there uh, properly. Uh, but yeah, so this is this Guild War. Um, let's see where we are here. They got 48, 69, of course. With the same amount of tokens left. So it's looking like we're going to win this. Um, yeah, we'll see uh, where we go from there. Uh, again, as always, uh, hopefully we get to... Uh, down here we're at 117, I think. Or 177. This is usually the, the, the area my old guild used to be at. Uh, so hopefully maybe now that we're down here, we'll, uh, we'll get to match up with them at some point. Um... But yeah, uh, that's about it. Um, uh, still don't have like a really solid way to fight this team, at least not until ML Crowd comes out, this top team here. The bottom team looks pretty ML Crowdable too. Um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, ML Crowd's not going to come out and suddenly solve this team. This team's just irritating uh, at a basic level. Um, but uh, there's probably a solutions. And, and of course, you know, if you watch my channel, if you somehow made it to my channel, chances are you've hit a bunch of other channels on the way here. So, I mean, hopefully they can help you out. Uh, but as far as my channel goes, this team is kind of like, uh, it's not easy. It's, it's a, it's a, it's an ordeal. Um, probably a, a, a quick and easy, quick and dirty way to, to fight this team would be like, uh, just dizzy them. Um, have like a dizzy, a decently fast dizzy with uh, Ayala's and then just kind of like slowly chip away at him Try to, as much as possible, try to focus on him. And I'm probably going to try that. I just need to get my Dizzy rebuilt and uh, do a few other things. Uh, but as much as possible, try to focus on him. Since she, she, she might, she'll likely strip. And then on top of that, um, like all the debuffs that are on him. So try to focus on him. Uh, try not to kill him. Uh, and uh, yeah, so just you know, do all this stuff until you can like deal with him at, appropriate, at an appropriate time. Uh, but other than that, I mean, like ML Crow might make this ML Crow and and Dark Corvus might make this pretty easy, uh, depending on you know what's up with with uh, with uh, what's up with Crow and in, in that uh, he does. There was people talking about some numbers. He does like five k on an S three um, at twenty five k HP. Uh, not the worst, but uh, obviously not the best. I mean, five k HP is probably just gonna half hit half hit that. Uh, half hit this arbiter and then like if you don't miss do some kind of damage on him probably like you know significantly reduced um but yeah so just uh something to keep in mind um it's good because he'll hit get the barrier and then you know hopefully you can just put as many s3s on the board as possible um but yeah like i said i'll, I'll talk a lot more in depth about uh, ml crow and, and what's going on with that uh, in a video probably tomorrow at some point uh, but for now, yep, that's about it for Guild War. Uh, fortunately, we got, you know, looking pretty good, I think. Uh, three successful attacks and um, about 50-50 on defense, right? So one with, uh, where are we? One with two defenses, one with one and a half, or one half, and then the other one with uh, two losses. So <laughs> looking pretty even, I think. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's it for today. Uh, good luck uh, on your Guild Wars and try not to get scrubbed out.